G'day folks. At what point is the Australian government going to step back and let Australian adults be Australian adults? Now I just want to put this disclosure out to the rest of the world that we, the Australian people, are currently under attack by our government. And yes, we are. What I mean by under attack, we are under attack via the Australian government censorship in trying to think for us. So the Australian government steps into our lives, intervenes so much in this country. Censorship is, is going off in this country. Now our Australian government thinks it's in their best interest to dictate to social media companies. We are entering borderline communism, whether the Australian people think they are or not. Now what the Australian government are doing is doing is winning the hearts and minds of the people that follow these mainstream media outlets by getting it into their minds and socially conditioning the people to make them accept that it's going to be okay when the government decides to ban certain social media platforms. So they use that pathetic excuse of banning certain social media platforms because of content. They cannot nanny the Australian people forever. The Australian government is stepping too much into people's lives. Now, if people don't want to watch it, they don't have to watch it. I don't like seeing horrific things on YouTube or whatever, but if I don't want to watch it, I won't click on it. I stay away from certain types of content. It should be an adult's choice to make. I know what they're trying to say, like, but when it comes to the rest of the world, why is it the Australian people have to be the nanny test nation to ban this stuff? Do you see America banning it on their people? Do you see, do you see it happening in Europe and the European countries? You might see elements of it, but Australia is stepping up too far in trying to take away our freedoms of speech or expression. Now, we're just going to watch the article here on what Elon Musk and, and our Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, are experiencing. Let's watch this. Let's just see this. On X right now, videos of the weekend violence continue to multiply. Government takedown orders so far failing to bring many posts down and prevent view counts going up. Social media companies have a responsibility to act. It shouldn't need the e-safety commissioner to intervene. Well, guess what, Anthony Albanese? The Australian people shouldn't need the government to intervene in a thing like this. But again, X is a platform with pornography, whatever. I know there's pornography style things on there. That they, I heard Joe Rogan talk about it once. I wouldn't know personally. I don't. I, really, I seriously don't. But that's what I'm hearing. There's also porn on X. So it's clearly an over 18 platform, okay? If the government's going to do nothing and sit back and do nothing about the amount of porn that's on our friggin' free to air buddy internet searching, then why the hell should what happens in real life be so censored? Why does the government not censor themselves more? And we'd respect them more. Like, why doesn't the government ban all politicians or potential future politicians from lying to the public? Why don't they have laws opposing that? Because you know why. Because they want to control us and make it so we have no say in them becoming the politician that then controls us. It's ridiculous. I don't get it. It's absurd. Let's move on. What's next part of this video? But the online watchdog will, announcing it's reviewing X's compliance. For every day such content remains online, the online watchdog can fine companies half a million dollars and individuals $100,000. So, okay, they're trying to say social media companies, we're going to ban you $500,000 a day, but we're also going to ban individual users. What is that people like me who might share this video content somewhere? Uh, $100,000 a day. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now, let's listen to this Jason Clare education minister guy and see what he says. The advice I've got is that Facebook did a reasonable job, but Twitter hasn't. That's a maximum $1.5 million penalty and growing. This would hardly have any effect on those companies. You're talking about billion-dollar companies here. The government's currently reviewing whether its laws are tough enough to keep Australians safe online. After the last week, experts are expecting a crackdown. So the Australian government's currently re reviewing whether the laws are tough enough to keep Australians and safe online. So this just proves that we are just the nanny state and you got mainstream media organizations like this and this journalist who just is just a robot a shill and just talks a story and gets it out across to you guys and doesn't give a fuck about the repercussions of it affecting everyday Australians. They roll along with this shit, these stupid fucking journalists that are here. Yeah, they're, they're reviewing whether the laws are tough enough. What, that's not tough enough? Half a million dollars for the companies, $100,000 fines for individuals? What the fuck? This is a nanny state, man. This is this is a nation of soft cock fucking pussy Australians who just let it happen and let the government walk all over. Why are we the test nation for the fucking world? Why is this? We are prepared to take whatever action is necessary 
to haul these companies into line. Oh, but easy. The Prime Minister, the big tough guy, is best, you know, wants to control every aspect of Australians' lives by bringing these big tech companies into line. What, but are they doing this in America? Are they doing this in England? Fucking idiot. Especially because fines have failed to deter X in the past. The platform's currently fighting a $600,000 penalty over its handling of child exploitation material. X is a, a shell of itself. Uh, in, in far less staff and, and less people, I guess, keep an eye on the feed there so yeah it's a uh X is, is a, a bit of a basket case at the moment. It can find itself facing a new legal case soon. Ben Downey, 7 News. And of course, the mainstream media will just, like I said, just, just promote it for the government to make it normalised in Australian society because that's what the Australian government and mainstream media want to do because the mainstream media wants to have full control of the information getting out. It means more revenue for them. Of course, they're going to make more out of it because people are only going to get the information from the mainstream media in this nanny state country that we live in. With a prime minister like Anthony Albanese dictating to social media companies what we should and shouldn't be allowed to see as adults is absolutely absurd. Again, Anthony Albanese, if you're serious, why don't you step up and ban all future politicians from making broken promises ever again? And also disclose all your bloody sponsorship rabbit holes. Let us know every bit of income that you get and all the, from all the supporters out there and the corporation support that you get. Yeah, let us know. that, Like the, the NASCAR thing, wearing your jacket with all your NASCAR symbolisms on it for who, who sponsors you. Yeah, of course you won't. Yeah, we know you'd never touch that, would you? No stranger to a legal battle, Elon Musk looks set for another. Tonight, openly defying Australia's orders to take down harmful posts a week on from the violence in Sydney. The Australian Censorship Commissar is demanding global content bans. Bans, writes the tech billionaire on X. We're not going to be bullied by Elon Musk. Who believes the post don't violate X Corp's rules and that Australia's digital watchdog can't force the platform to take them down. Hear that? We're not going to be bullied by Elon Musk, but the Australian people are going to be bullied by the Australian government into nanny state nanny ownership of the people because the government thinks they own all of us the government thinks they own us and can control us and tell us what to do yeah all right they have laws and regulations but this is just a test for the rest of the world australia has become a pussy nation full of pussy politicians trying to dictate to the australians what they should and shouldn't see or share online or well, whatever the fuck they're trying to say is all just a load of bullshit so the government can control us harder because the government really wants to crack down and be more and more like communist-style countries, whether Australian people see that or not. It's a dead-set truth. The funny thing is, by normalising it in mainstream media like this, they're going to go on about it, on about it, and the normal common man who reads and watches this shit that supports the mainstream media is going to go along with it and let it happen, diminishing all future Australians' freedom. The eSafety Commissioner does not have the authority to dictate what content X's users can see globally, reads a company statement. We will robustly challenge this unlawful and dangerous approach in court. Good, so they should. If he wants to fight that fine in court, well, we're up for that fight because we are determined to do the important work of keeping social media safe. I'm shocked, but I'm not surprised. Uh, this is exactly as I'd expect from X or Twitter or whatever the whatever you want to call it, a disregard for the information that they pump into our communities. What about the shit that you politicians pump into our communities on mainstream media? No one voted for this Chris Minns, New South Wales Premier guy. Every day the posts remain online, the maximum fine increases by half a million dollars. Other nations are closely watching this battle that experts expect could set limits on social media giants' powers other nations are closely watching this battle. Of course they are, because we are the test nation for this worldwide. This is really testing whether Elon Musk's bluster around what X can and should be will actually match um, whether he will blink or not. Meanwhile, the haters of Elon Musk go around driving their Teslas thinking that they're saving the world because they're driving a Tesla and saving the world. Well, why don't they just let X be X? and save the world and drive their Tesla. Anyway, this has been another Hang Loose Recluse production. The Australian government should stay the fuck out of our lives more so than they currently do and stop trying to treat Australians like we are test nanny state nation. This has been another Hang Loose Recluse production. Thank you.